Welcome to day 17 of Vlogmas. It is about 10 a.m. this morning, and for the past hour and a half or two hours, I have been doing animal chores. So much fun, but those are done now, and as you can tell, I am not ready for the day. Here in about two and a half hours, me, my mom, my grandmother, and some of our other family are heading into Houston to the Hobby Center to see a play. The one we're seeing today is Cinderella. I'm sure it's gonna be fantastic. But I figured I would do a little bit of a get ready with me this morning doing that. That's all I got for you right now, so let's go get ready. Apparently the best place to soak up some sunshine is in the rabbit cage. As long as he's not bothering him, he can lay there but he lays there almost every morning now. I'll be honest, right now I really don't feel like putting on a full face of makeup, but I have to because we're all going out and getting together, so I need to look nice. So let's try and do this as quickly and as painlessly as possible this morning. So I am going to start with some primer, the No Porblum Primer by Touch In Soul. That's a weird name. Touch insole. <laughs> and we're just going to rub that all into my face. For foundation, we're doing the It Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow. I went on Ulta last night to repurchase this, and it is $47. I don't remember ever paying that much for a foundation, but I guess I did. It does last me quite a while, and... It's a great foundation, so I will probably repurchase it, but whenever I added it to my cart last night, I was like, oh my golly, this is expensive. I like the like $8 drugstore foundations. I like this foundation because it's not heavy on my face, and it gives me just enough coverage to kind of even out my skin tone without making me look cakey. Now to fill in my brows with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. So, Bo insists on laying under me every time I do my makeup. He's always going to be under me. Even if he's laying on the other side of the room, when I sit down right here, he runs over to lay under me. And I do not know why, because I drop everything. So far, I've already hit him in the head with my eyebrow gel little container, and then I just dropped my blush on him as well. And I feel like at this point, he's like, gotta know that he's going to get whacked anytime he sits under me. But he continues to do it, so it is what it is. Next up, we're going in with bronzer. Case in point. At least I didn't hit him this time. Is it still alive? Oh, it's still alive. Okay, so I am using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer that has seen its better days. Oh, I may have gone a little too dark. It is what it is. We'll blend it out. It'll buff. For blush, I'm using this Laura Geller blush that I probably need to trash. I swear I've been using this thing for three years and it still is full. But it does look pretty on. It's got like a little bit of a highlighter in it and I just blend that into my cheekbones and across my nose. For eyeshadow today I'm going to use my well-loved Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Now I do not know what we're going to do. I think I may do a blend of these two shades that are almost completely gone. You can tell my favorite colors in here. They're just like a really good transition shade to use in the crease of your eye. So that is what we're going to do. And now I'm going to take this kind of like deep reddish brown color and blend that into the outer corner of my eye. And wow, this is pigmented. I actually haven't used this palette in a while, but it was speaking to me this morning. And I forget how much I do like this eyeshadow palette. I love Morphe products. They're so cheap and nice and the last colors I'm gonna use are these two right here and I just do that over like the inner third of my eye and that just kind of brightens up your eyelid and makes your eyes pop a little bit more now I am just going to put on some black eyeliner I wasn't even thinking and forgot to turn on my camera, but I just added this lip liner all over my lips. It's in the shade BFF by ColourPop. It's a lippy pencil. 
So I couldn't find this exact product on Ulta, but they have one in a different packaging that is also called BFF. So I have that in my Ulta cart as well to repurchase and see if it's the same thing. I just dropped that on Bo. This is literally my life. I drop things all the time. <laughs> now just some shiny clear gloss over that. And lastly, this Benefit Fan Fest mascara. I hate doing my mascara. I always get it all over my eye. Doing my makeup hurts so bad because of this. I'll have to tell you that story here in a moment. But let's just add some mascara and that will finish off the makeup look. And the makeup is complete. Now we're gonna go do my hair. My hair is kind of dirty. This is like day three hair and I didn't wash it last night because my hair always curls better when it's dirty. So I didn't wash it last night and we're gonna go put some quick curls in my mop. Let's brew us up some coffee this morning in the Keurig. I have this Duncan Turtle Love pod that we're gonna use. Pull out the old one and add in the new one. All right, my hair and makeup is done now. I have my coffee brewing right here and I thought I would share my story time of how I got my hand to look like this and it hurts and probably part of the reason why I kept dropping everything this morning. So last night, Cody and I were sitting on the couch watching a Christmas movie and as y'all know, I have that new cat. She is in heat. And we were just sitting on the couch and she runs out of nowhere, jumps on our love seat, and just starts peeing everywhere. Um, I was not happy about that. And so immediately I drug the kennel back in from outside and I was like, you know what we're not gonna do? Have a cat who I can't touch, can't pet, uh, is running around our house screaming and peeing. Um, we're not gonna have that. No, I was angry. So I chased her around the house until I was finally able to corner her in the bathroom and I grabbed her and I should have known. I literally tore my arms apart a month ago trying to catch an outside cat to get him neutered, but she tore into my thumb real good and it hurts. Like I feel like my thumb's gonna fall off. Thankfully, it's not infected. I've cleaned it well. It just hurts because it's deep and she got it right where I bend my thumb and it hurts. She also got me a couple good scratches on this side of my arm, but those don't hurt quite as bad. So eventually I ended up trapping her in the laundry room after she tore me apart and I have her locked in a kennel until we can get her fixed, which is hopefully Monday or Tuesday this week because you know what we're not gonna have is a cat peeing in our house, just wherever she feels like it. No. So last night I was angry about that. But that's the story and I'll show you where she is in jail right now. Cause that's where she's gonna stay until she decides she's not gonna pee in my house. She's in the kennel in kitty jail for the time being. Do I feel awful? Yes, that I have her locked up when she's had free roam of the house. But I also don't want her peeing in our house because she's in heat. So we've gotta get her spayed ASAP and I will let her out of here at night so she can have free reign in the laundry room, but we're not gonna be running through our house peeing on things. Since I'm gonna be gone for quite a few hours today, Cody ended up going fishing with his friend this morning. So I am making myself some coffee, adding in some half and half. So I am so glad that he got to go out and do that. And I'm honestly not that upset that it wasn't me going out with him because it was in the 40s this morning. And going 40 miles an hour on a boat when it's 40 degrees outside, I will die. I do not handle or tolerate the cold well. I think because of my hormone issues, I just cannot warm up. So I was perfectly fine from the comfort of my bed this morning while they were out freezing their little butts off. Belgian cookie in the coffee today. Anyways, it is now 11.18. I have just over an hour until we leave to go into Houston and I'm gonna try and take advantage of that hour. I wanna film an unboxing video for my Instagram, The Catherine Chronicles, where I talk about tech and beauty and lifestyle because I just love techie stuff. And I was like, I should make a video talking about my new Switch because it's fun and I enjoy it. So let me go get dressed and then we're gonna open up my Switch and maybe this evening we'll get to play it. I'm so excited. I 
I have been working on my little unboxing video and look at it. I got me a Switch. Do I know anything about these? Absolutely not. I need to download my game and connect to the little Nintendo online store so I can get some games. But I'm so excited. Look how pretty she is. I'm so excited about that Nintendo Switch. I have it plugged in over there charging and later today when we get back home, I'll probably be able to play with it and check it out. But we leave in less than 30 minutes to go to Houston and we're not eating or anything before the play because it's kind of early in the day. So I've got to figure out what to eat. And I think I am just going to toast up two of these mini bagels. I don't have any egg bites, but I don't really have any other options. I really need to go to the store and pick up some quick and easy options because I have like nothing right now, but I do need to eat before we leave the house. Here is my little breakfast I just scrounged up. I have two of the mini bagels and I had some chive and onion cream cheese that I spread on top of those. I have some of these berries I got at HEB and I have about one sip of coffee left. So I'm about to scarf this down because it is 1217 and I've got to go change into the outfit I'm going to wear to the play. I don't think you can get much more cozy than these two. We've got Cooper just cuddled up into the blanket. We got Bo just sleeping like a baby right there. We have the ugly stairs that the cats have eaten. Now, I know it's ugly, but I have to leave them there so Bo has a safe way to get on and off the couch. I need to replace them. I just haven't spent the money on some new one because while they're ugly, they do still work. But yeah, look at these two. I just wish I could get as cozy as Cooper. He's kind of looking like an undercooked baked potato right now. We've got to get his exercise program up and running. Oh golly, it is 12.26 and I just put on the shirt that I thought I was gonna wear and it just looks a little too baggy, I think, on me. It's one of those Shein purchases, so they're all, you never know what you're going to get. But I think it just doesn't look like I thought it was going to. Darn it. Back to the drawing board. I got a couple minutes to figure this out. I didn't have any more time to keep digging through my clothes, so this is what we're going to wear. I have these Kendra Scott hoop earrings. I've got my Texas necklace from James Avery. My Redfish necklace from Avid Angler Jewelry. I think this is another Shein top. It's just kind of red. It's got the little high collar. It's Christmassy, I guess. Hopefully it's not see-through. From what I can tell in my mirror, I don't think it's see-through. I also have on these flare jeans that I wore not too long ago, and I am going to wear some boots. But let me finish getting dressed, and it is 1234, so they should be here any minute. We had some wonderful seats at the Hobby Center for their version of Cinderella. It was a wonderful show and we all really, really enjoyed it. Me and Sydney are sitting here together and Cinderella is about to come on. I can't wait to watch it. I'm so excited. Yay! Cinderella is over and it was wonderful and now we just came over to Chewy's which is Mexican food or Tex-Mex I would say and it is delicious. And we're gonna have us some food. We got Maggie, hey. And this is Maggie's favorite place from when she went to college here in Rice at, to eat. Wait, it's still my favorite place. Or it's still your favorite <laughs> place. So we're gonna eat good. some food. Me and Maggie ended up sharing these flautas and they were absolutely tasty. Everyone enjoyed their food and it was just so much fun spending a great time with my family. Well, we just had a really great dinner and we are loading up and we may make one more stop before we head on home. We are stopping here at Dessert Gallery to grab some sweets to take home. If you're ever in the Houston area and have a bit of a sweet tooth, the Dessert Gallery is definitely a place you should check out. We have come here for many, many years and they have an assortment of cakes, pies, and desserts and it never disappoints. On the way home, we drove through the River Oaks part of Houston, and these houses are worth millions of dollars, and the light displays were absolutely incredible. I wish I had gotten to be able to film them better, but they were amazing. Hey, y'all. It is nearly 8 o'clock, and we just got home from our full day of events. Saw Cinderella, went to dinner, went to the dessert gallery, drove through River Oaks in Houston, and saw some absolutely incredible lights 
it was a really fun day spending time with a lot of women who mean a lot to me. And now we are probably gonna have a chill night for the rest of the night. I may try and go plug in the switch and Cody and I may try out a game. I don't know. I do know I wanna do a lot of nothing for the rest of the night. <laughs> While I was at the dessert gallery, I had to pick up a couple of things to try. This is their Tres Leche, because Cody and I love Tres Leche. And this is a red velvet. We're gonna try a little bite of each and see which one is great. Oh, they both look so good though. When Bo wants it to be dinner time, he comes and stands on the couch and stares at me and cries. I know, you're starved. Some of the Lego games are on sale on the Switch, so obviously I had to buy one and I'm having so much fun playing it. It is about 11.30 at night now and for the past hour and a half or so, I sat my little booty on the couch, downloaded Lego Jurassic World onto my Switch and had me a good time. And I'm not gonna lie, having a gaming system is kinda nice because whenever I like do something on my phone, I always end up checking emails, looking at texts, and my brain is constantly just like thinking about work. But just like shutting off my brain and not thinking about emails for like an hour and a half was just the best thing. And just cozy on the couch, happy as a clam. It was wonderful. But I think I may not edit this vlog until tomorrow morning, so sorry if this one goes up a little bit late. So I hope that you guys enjoyed Vlogmas today. It was a fun day spending time with the fam, and I wouldn't want it any other way. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I will see y'all again tomorrow. Bye, guys!